will develop second simplex table after introducing this x1 variable. So again uh, we will check for uh, optimality that means if there are any positive values in cj minus zj row then we will see what should be our action. Then right here we will take a table right here it is. So the table here. Like this. Then What we are going to do is whatever the first row, second row values we have taken, we are going to put them in this table. Then we will check for net evaluation row and then we will go for further action. This will be S1, S2, X1. Here it, was, here it was X3. That means S3 was outgoing variable and X1 was entering variable here b is equal to xb to benefit 400 140 and 320 so now uh, write these variables x1 x2 s1 s2 s3 where x1 value is 6 x2 value is 4 S1 value is 0, S2 value is 0, X3 value is 0. So now we are going to write this values which we have calculated in the earlier one. New row values which we have calculated. First, these are the first row values, these are the second row values. And we are putting the other one as it is. 1, 0, 0, 0. One. Now we will calculate this ZJ value. So this ZJ value will come based on the values. How we are going to get this? 0. Oh, okay, here we have to introduce these values. So uh, for each X1 unit, 6 rupees will come for each X1 unit. So here Zj is equal to 1920. How it has come? 400 into 0 plus 140 into 0 plus 320 into 6. It will give us 1920. And here this value will come 0 into 0, 0 plus 0 into 0, 0 plus 1 into 6, 6. So 0 plus 0 plus 6, 6. 2 into 0, 0. 1 into 0, 0, 0. So this is 0. Then similarly all these values. 1 into 0 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 plus 0 into 6, 0. So here you need. Here also 0 into 0 plus 1 into 0 plus 0. This also becomes 0. Minus 1 into 0, 2 into minus 2 into 0, 1 into 6, 6. You get 6. Then the net evaluation row, net evaluation row CJ minus ZJ. Here is 6 minus 6. This is CJ value. Here, okay. Right. CJ values are given here. This is ZJ value. ZJ values. 6 minus 6, 0. Okay. 4 minus 0, 4. 0 is 0, 0. This should be minus 6. And how the next step, what we are going to do is, which one should be the entering variable. For this, we will calculate minimum ratio, minimum ratio 
that is given by x b <coughs> x right so x2 right so how we are going to get uh, 400 which we have taken from here divided by x2 value 2 divided by 2 is equal to 200 and here it is 140 divided by 1 140 divided by 1. This one is here. So gives us 140. So this is outgoing variable and here it is here. Because this already x1 has entered, we are not going to evaluate this. So this is the entering variable. Now simple table will develop because we haven't reached the optimum solution because cj minus zj values are representing some kind of positive values so what we need to do is uh, till cj minus zj values are uh, positive we cannot assume that the solution is an optimum solution so what we will do is we will proceed further till the cj minus zj values become 0 or minus negative values so we we'll proceed that way so we have to find out new row values based on the procedure what we have mentioned earlier so see that here cb values then x1, x2, s1, s2, s3, minimum, ratio, mean ratio, and <coughs> then this now we know the value here we'll take s1 because x2 is also introduced now x1 was already introduced earlier s1 value is 0 x2 value is 4 x1 value is 6 then here we will have 120 units here we will have 140 units based on row calculation the same procedure which we have mentioned earlier minus 2 3 now actually here we will see these values based on this 0 into 1 0 plus 0 into 4 0 plus 1 into 6 6 so we have got this okay, anyhow after writing this we will calculate 0 1 minus 2 0 0 1 so this this into this plus this into this plus this into this likewise we calculate and we got these values once we got these values we'll write cj okay here we'll write cj values also 6 4 0 0 0 based on this cj minus zj these are zj values so 6 minus 6 0 4 minus 4 0 0 minus 4 2 0 minus of minus 2 will give us so this is a positive value so we have to this is the but anyhow where it should enter 120 by 3 this is and the other side because earlier this was the pivot row now in, that is the reason this is not considered 320 by 1 so then this will become the s1 will be outgoing 1 so net evaluation row is right net evaluation 